Welcome back to Love and Junk Food. I'm Laura. I'm John. Today we're trying another box of treats from the UK. This is another British candy box straight from Kate and Alex. That's right. This with them on YouTube. If you've never seen them before, Check we them love them, brother and sister team. A lot of their stuff comes from the States yeah. to them. Yeah. They're yeah. trying American things, but from all over actually. And they do right. little games and all kinds of things on their channel. We really, really, really enjoy their content. So check them out if you haven't. They have this subscription box uh, company, which we've been neglecting. <laughs> we have so many wonderful subscribers and we appreciate all the things you send. More of that coming soon. We've got much, much more to film. So. Um, but we have several boxes now that have piled up and we thought we've got to get through a box. That's right. And then we're going to take some of the old boxes, old, you know, not current boxes, and maybe try some things live with all of you and do some different things with those. So never fear, we're gonna make sure we eat all of that stuff. That's right. But, but for got, now... We gotta crack it open and see what we got here. So we don't know what's in it, we just know it's from the UK. That's right. All right, they always have a little postcard in there. Mm -hmm. And let's see what we got. Packaging. Some crisps. Love the oh, lots of Oh, yes. Sizzling steak. Hold on, we'll be back in a minute. <laughs> All right, there we have it. Lots and lots and lots of things in this box. Like always, we are excited to give oh, it a yeah. try. Um, we're going to start savory and work our way. Three savory things this time. There's lots of chocolate in this box and a few fruity things as well. Yeah. So, so we got Skip's prawn cocktail flavor. Uh-huh. What do we have here? These are Walker's oven baked and just uh, sea salt. So Okay, and this is uh Watsit sizzling steak. Sizzling steak. Which one would you like to try first? Let's start with the more plainish one. Okay. So we don't burn out our palate. I love this box. We can read everything. <laughs> yeah. There's no Cliff's Notes that we need to look at. All right, there you go. And the stuff's always amazing. Yeah. So, obviously, it looks very similar to Baked Lay's. Yeah. I love the salt. The salt is really on mm -hmm. point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. I like them. They kind of That's give me good. Pringles vibes. Uh -huh. The texture of them. It's mm. that same type of crisp where it's like formed. Right. Yeah, those are good. Yeah. But I don't think they're going to end up being my favorite in this box. I mean, we'll find out here in a second. But all right, let's um, let's go watch it. Okay. We tried watch it before. Sizzling steak flavor. But I don't think this flavor. I mean. You guys, you always ask us in the comments, what haven't you tried? Oh, we don't know. We don't know. Keep it coming. Even if we've tried it, we don't mind trying it again. Yeah. Oh, ask that me, smells good. Ask me five minutes after we're done with this box what we just tried, and I might be able to tell you. Maybe. I don't think so. <laughs> so if you've never had a Watsit before, kind of like Cheeto texture, yeah, I would say. Like a puff, corn puff. Yeah. Yeah, the puffy ones. Oh, man. <laughs> that is a good Oh, flavor. man. That was a good flavor. They always get the, the beef flavored or meat flavored things. Right. And most of the time, suitable for vegetarians. Mm-hmm. Please hold, but we just eat this whole bag of crisps. Oh my gosh, those are so good. So, those are good. Like a puffy Cheeto, like in that family, but smaller as you saw. It says no artificial colors or preservatives. They are corn puffs, baked, not fried. And they have like this super savory. Oh yeah. Um, like meat flavor. 
<laughs> it's good. What is better than that? I I don't Nobody know. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. I don't know, but those are so yeah, good. Yeah, it is delicious. All right. Next, Skips Light and Melty Prawn Cocktail Flavor. We've tried Skips before, but I don't, I, don't, so. I don't think prawn cocktail. I don't know. I think I we think. might have. Really? Okay. Who knows at this point. There you go. I remember the texture. So if you've never, th they're kind of, um, oh Like styrofoam. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> they kind of look like it. They, they feel like they would be like that. The texture is different than a regular crisp. Yeah. They're kind of puffed up a little bit from a, a regular chip. I don't know. They're hard to describe. Cheers. If you have a good way of describing skips, let us know in the comments. Cheers. They are melty. It just I dissipates. Uh-huh. These are good too. They're so good. <laughs> Those are so good. Okay, ready to rank? Mm. No, I don't think I am. I'm ready. That's it for me. That's my order too. And actually though, I really liked these. I as really far like as like a too. plain old sea salt crisp, those are great. Yeah. But they're just not that for me. No. Not today. Right. Not. I really liked these too. I feel like I like certain flavors on certain vehicles. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I love a prawn cocktail crisp. I like them like that, but there is something. Do Watsits do prawn cocktail? Mm, good question. And so have we had them? I don't know. There, there's something that is a perfect combination of texture and flavor to me. Um, yeah, here in the States, we get like corn puff things like this. Obviously there's Cheetos and everything. Predominantly, the flavor is just cheese. Sometimes it's cheese and jalapeno, but you do get never, a, like, you get a peanut. A peanut, yeah, a peanut, Everyone's but never not. like meat flavor. No, like this. no, and I think never. we only have. I mean, I think I've only seen a puffy thing like that. If you're in the states and you know of some, you know, let us know where we go wrong. I think I've only seen them in cheese or your peanut puff things yeah. that you like. Yeah, well, like puffs can come in different shapes. That's why like a lot of times we don't try all the Cheetos because I think it's just the same flavor with a different shape. Or it's the same flavor, but what we get is hot, flaming hot, jalapeno, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Carolina Reaper. It's all like different, Spicy. different riffs on, yeah, on that kind of thing. We're going to save chocolate for the end, but do you want to, so do you want to go fruity? Sure. And then do the, okay. So. Haribo yellow bellies. Cute. Yellow bellies, huh? Yellow bellies. Oh, it's the little snakes? Yeah. Little snakes. So like snakes. <clears throat> Kate and Alex got me so hooked on stinger bars. Oh yeah. Remember that? Which we is so funny because a lot of you that watch are like I've never seen a stinger bar before. So hooked on those. <laughs> and then they were so kind yeah. to send us a box and they included some extra things for both of us. That but was so nice. There was a million stinger bars and yeah. that really made my day. If you didn't know, we have a whole playlist of things from the UK and are this with them boxes. So come to the comments and you'll be able to see it all there. A silly snake. These are so cute. Yeah. Oh, there's different. Yeah. Different flavors or different colors anyway. I'm gonna go green. I've got a red flavor. Here's another thing I like. I always say this. I love when a gummy has both textures. The foamy yeah. kind of gummy and the, you know, yeah. clear kind. Those are good. Mm-hmm. Just like every other, Har Haribo has it going on. Yeah. Like they own the whole world, not just in one country or another. If you want a gummy, you can get, 
You see Haribo in every country. Am I wrong? Well, don't I you? don't know. I haven't seen them in every country, but I know they're here. I know they're in the UK. I know what they're I'm in saying is whenever we get an international snack box, there's always something from Haribo. It doesn't yeah. matter where it's from. Right. You know, if it's from the North Pole, Haribo somehow gets there. I don't, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They're like everywhere. At least these weren't super sour snacks. They were not super sour. They were good. Mm, yeah. I like them. Okay. Those were good. Let's try Maynard's Bassett's Fruit Smoothie Jellies. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Hiya. Maybe we won't be able to. I see a little arrow here that's like, open here, but it won't. Just kidding. Uh, yeah. Oh boy. It's open now. <laughs> Guess we gotta eat them all up. It is open. So now. there's just like put a yellow one. There's some. Just set it down. <laughs> I'm like, don't dump it. Whatever you do. So they look like little cans, right? Yeah. Here, let's try this flavor. All right. Let's Whenever try this I get flavor. something from the UK and they have this color, I always want to try it. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. I love that texture. I know you do. It's good. It's not like a gummy. Ooh, that's got some flavor to it. Mm-hmm. That is my favorite gummy texture. And I don't think this will make sense, but like on these, you chew and chew and chew and, you know, eventually it goes away. These you can kind of like chew right through. Yeah. Almost right. like a, they're not at all like a jelly bean, but do you know what I mean? Like you chew it up and right. it goes away. These are nice. You wanna try red or pink or whatever those colors? Sure, let's try the pinkish okay. color. Here, there's the flavors, right? Mm hmm So there's mango and passion fruit. I don't think we've had that one. Mm -mm. Banana and strawberry is like the pinkish one we just had. Uh -huh. I can tell that there's banana in it, Ooh. which also you don't see. We see banana like in hard candy sometimes, but we very seldom see banana in like a chewy gummy kind of situation. I like it. Um, pineapple and lemon. Mm, is what color? Is like a or the orangish color? No, it's like a, the yellowish one, I think. Okay. I think. I definitely want to try that one. Sniff it. <sighs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm, that's good. And kind of the Merlot color here was pomegranate and berry. Mm. Those are good. You can eat They're the good. mango one. If you want <laughs> I to. will. I will. I think I'll skip it. Let's see. Which one's the mango one? Isn't this it this one? one? All right, let's try this. I don't know. Those are good. I love, love, love the texture. Those are made by Maynard's, which we also really like them as a company. Yeah, well, we're in Can Can Canada. Canada. <laughs> we're in Canada. We got some wine gums. Same, same brand. Mm -hmm. We didn't love those, though. No. I don't know. I think that's an acquired taste. They're a little bit sharp. The I thought the texture was like the, the texture on these were great. Mm -hmm. But the chew on those were like just too hard, I think. Okay, now these are drumstick, which we love. Drumstick yeah. brand, and they are fruit cheese. I feel like we've tried this one before. I think so too. Oh. They look like little starbursts. I was gonna try to share one with you. Raspberry milk flavor. That's the original. That's another thing. I love that they do like custard and yeah. You know, as, yeah, or whatever. I love that. I wish, because generally speaking, yeah, that cheat up just have your own. <laughs> generally speaking, when we get something like this, it's lemon, raspberry, cherry, whatever. Right. It's not a mix of flavors, which I actually like. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I'll start working on mine. All right. Yeah, I love it. Those are great. Mm-hmm. Really, really, really good. Hmm. Okay, what do you have over there? 
Mmm. Mmm. Well, blue raspberry tango. Mmm. Sounds sour. That says sherbet shockers. Yeah. We'll probably do that. Ooh, one. is it gonna be like a stinger bar with stuff in the middle? I think so. Mmm. I think so. Yeah. It's a flavored sour fizz chew bar. Bring that on. But next, we have these little things. Now, recently we did a box from Germany. Yeah. And they had this brand. Is it Moam? And somebody oh, in the comment it. said, it might have been Anna. Hi, Anna. Um, that you have this, that they have this brand in the oh, UK yeah. as well. And Obviously, so, huh? Yeah. So, but it is a different shape yeah. than the other ones that we tried. There's an apple, there's a raspberry. What flavor do you have? Cherry. I was Cherry. just going to take a piece of this and yeah, then have the rest. Thank you. So it's like a taffy. Mm hmm. Ooh. Whoa. That is uber cherry flavor. I really like that. Mm hmm. It reminds me of something from my childhood, but now I can't remember. Mm hmm. Ooh. Good. Mm hmm. What the texture? Yeah. Easy to eat. Yeah. And the size is great. Mm, those are good. I can't wait to try the other flavors. Flavors. All right, let's do the shocker. Let's do it. All right, these are Blue Raspberry Tango Sherbet Shocker. Nice. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Please open for me. Here we go. Ooh, look at that color. Mm -hmm. You want to get you off some there? You take the end. <laughs> <laughs> get a hold of it. You get a hold of it. Yeah. All right. I don't know that I get any of the shocker. <laughs> this is getting it's stuck. Okay. Yep, that's sour. Isn't it? I can't tell. It's just stuck in my teeth. <laughs> it is similar to the Stinger. In fact, like the size and everything is similar. The flavor is different. I like Stinger better. For one thing, I like the flavor better than Blue Raspberry. Yeah. It's the same vibes with the sour in the middle. Yeah. Hmm. Good. So for me, number one is going to be the drumstick. I just love that flavor. That raspberry milk it was so good. Um, and let's see, I guess I would go with, well, we only tried the one flavor, the cherry, but it, I, the cherry was delicious. Yeah. And the texture was really great. I like the size of it. Sometimes I just want a little something. Yep. Haribo next for me and then the uh, Mario Bassett's or whatever. No, Maynard's. <laughs> um, Maynard's. And then last for me would be the Tango Sherbet Shocker. I, I didn't actually find the flavor to be that good. I didn't love the flavor, but you know I love me some sherbet and a they gave me to sprinkle that around on everything, in my opinion, <laughs> in Candyland. Um, I agree with the drumstick. I really love the combination of flavors and I don't know why. They make a lot of things here that, you know, gummies that are multiple flavored and whatever, but they right. don't make that kind of thing in multiple flavors. Very often, I really like that. Right. And a lot of times we don't get so many stuff that's uh, raspberry flavored. Either. Yeah. Then I'm going to go these. I don't know if you can tell. I don't know if I <laughs> did a good job <laughs> letting you know. I loved the texture. I love the flavor of most of them. So. Yeah. You know, slight knock for the mango for me, but I didn't try it. But you'll you'll eat them, I'm sure. Sure. Um, then uh, the ma mayo is that how you say that? Mayo. Um, that I really liked that flavor and that texture and that size, like we talked about. I really liked these too. This is not a love and hate. Um, I really liked these, but we can get similar things yeah. here. Um, and then this, I just 
feels like. Feels familiar like Stinger, but not. <laughs> not to me, but I liked it still. All right. Moving on to chocolate. Let's do it. First of all, I'm going to, can I pick what we eat first? Sure. We'll move down to this in a minute. I want to try these Jaffa donuts. Yep. We've had one of those before, but I can't really remember too much about it. I don't remember what flavor. I feel like it was this flavor. I think it's just original orange. But whenever we get something that is Jaffa cake, I, I'm always really excited to try it because it's one of those things that we get nothing, you know, we can get chocolates here. Some of them are similar. Some of them are not but we get nothing like this here. Right. The orange and chocolate is just so amazing. And then in like a baked treat, I mean, yum. And so when it's been a while since we've had something like this, I don't know if you can see. <laughs> yeah, this looks like a little bit of that orange jelly inside around the yep. inside of it. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Yep. Yep. That's that's amazing. I would eat that whole thing. Yep, like yep, two yep, bites. yep, <laughs> yep. Do the donuts come in other flavors? I'm so curious. Mm. Yeah. Good question. So next we have this little company. You may have heard of, heard of it, Cadbury. <laughs> yes. And they've joined forces with this other little company. Yeah, you may have heard of Oreo. These are Cadbury Oreo Bites. I don't know what that means, but I definitely want to give it a try. Okay, I opened it where it said to. <laughs> now, I need a magic wand. My hands are sticky. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So, yeah, they're like, Little bites. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. So it's like a cookies and cream bar covered in Cadbury chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah, it's not an Oreo hiding in here. It's Mmm, that's good. That is We've good. We've had other things similar to this, I think mm -hmm. also from the UK, um, with the little Oreo bits mm -hmm. in it. That's nice. That's really nice. That is really nice. And the Cadbury chocolate makes, the Cadbury chocolate and the Oreo chocolate are so different, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. I wish I had a glass of milk right now. Me too. Woo! That's yummy. What's okay. next? Mm-hmm. Let's just, yep, that's what I was reaching for. Minstrels. Mm. Isn't this the thing I love? Um, pleasure, we're sharing minstrels. I don't know. Mm. It kind of looks like just like plain chocolate. Yeah. The thing that I love are. Like those aerated it? ones? No, I mean, yes, but. The ones I was thinking of are the ones where some are chocolate and some are coffee and so, like they oh, have different things on the inside. Not, I always want to call them randoms because everything seems so random, random. but it's yeah. not. What are they called? <laughs> They'll tell us. I, think I we've love had this those. question before. I think we have the same questions all the time. They look like a big M&M. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what they're like. Yeah. Hard candy shell, chocolate on the middle, in the middle. Mm-hmm. That's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Is this one I can't eat? No, I think you can eat that one. Star Bar, I think has rice, not peanut. Oh, it I does never say remember. peanuts. Okay, you eat that one. Oh, there's a peanut right there on the picture. Oh, there is. Yeah. Star Bar. Oh, I hate Star Bar. Star Bar is very good. I like it. I like it a lot. You wouldn't like it. 
Yes, I would. I can tell. That's good. That's good. Of course, we've had Star Bar. Oh, well, I've had Star Bar before. What's with this? It's interesting. Whatever. Somebody tell me the story with this. So it says there's a big two right here, right? And it says yeah. Milky Way, but over here they make a point to show one, like one candy bar, but this says two. What does that mean? <laughs> See what I mean? Like they're saying it's it's not actually oh, two Milky Way. One. It's saying one equals twenty one point five grams. All right, ready? Cheers. Cheers. So. The UK's Milky Way is like our Three Musketeers. Yeah. And our Milky Way is like their Mars. Yeah, I right? think that's it. I think that's right. Why don't we all do the same? Then we all know what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Mmm, that's good. It's good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Crunchy. You love crunchies. Oh, I love crunchies. Mm-hmm. Crunchy's gotta be one of my favorites. 60. I'm so thirsty right now from eating chocolate. The other thing is I love that um, UK candy is cheaper and stuff. 60p, like, there's no way, like, for 60, 60 cents we're getting, like, a candy bar like this. It's, they're all over a dollar now. Yeah. All right. Oh. Little bit of an explosion. Ready? I, go. Love this. The most similar thing is a Butterfinger. Mm hmm. But it's really different than that. Right. Ooh, am I getting thirsty? <laughs> but texture wise, it's similar vibes. Similar, yeah. Mmm. We've had it before, we love Crunchy. Mmm. Crunchy is one of the few. If we ever see UK stuff in one of our stores, you can usually see, what are the, th we see Lion Bars. Lion Bar, yeah. We see Crunchies every once in a while. What else? I think that's about it. Those are the two like most common. And we get like chocolate Cadbury, bars that we see. Yeah, we get Cadbury bars, but you know, as you're aware, they're made by the Hershey Company here. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Milky Bar! I was looking, there's a QR code that says 80 awesome things to do. <laughs> what happened? Here. <laughs> um, somebody's head came off. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. White chocolate. Mm hmm. It's nice. It's smooth. It's creamy. I just like milk and dark better more than for sure. Chocolate. But that's still good. And after eating all these like powerfully delicious chocolates, then you go to Milky Bar last. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should have done it in the other order because yeah. it's just kind of you know flavor's not all there. You know when I like white chocolate is actually when I'm eating like dark chocolate. Like I could see them being a, like mixed together with some white and some dark or sometimes. There are bars where they mix them together. Yeah. So you have a place to go, especially from dark chocolate that's like a little, you know, a little bitey sometimes. Yeah. yeah. That's when I like white chocolate. That's nice. All right. All right. Do you ready to rank? I'm ready to rank. Are you ready to rank? Sure. You go ahead. Okay. Let's see. For me, put the crunchy bar, number one, star bar, number two. Um... Jaffa Joe Nut, number three. Milky Way, the Cadbury Oreo Bites, the Minstrels, and the Milky Bar. Hmm. For me, well, I couldn't eat you. I'm gonna put the Jaffa Donuts number, or Joe Nuts, number one. Yeah. I love that chocolate and orange together. Jaffa so Cakes good. just make me happy. There's something very special about the texture with the chocolate and yeah. the fruit. I, I love them. Um, then crunchy. Then, hmm, 
it's close for me for these two. These could be interchangeable. I like the uniqueness of this. Um, we can get these here, you know, yeah. under a different name, a little bit different chocolate, but similar-ish. Very similar. Um, yeah, that's my order. I liked the Milky Bar. I just didn't love it. Not the same way I love that. That's right. There you have it. That's our order. What were your favorite things from the box in general? Uh, I really liked these, and I really liked these. Those are two of my favorites right yeah. there. Those were so good. So I would those are say, like the standouts for me. Yeah, I would say both. And it it is always this way. I mean, we do find candies and chocolates that we love in these boxes, but the crisps always. So good. That's what we fight over later yeah, on, right? Those right. Watsits will be gone immediately today, I'm sure. Yeah. Those stand out for me as well as this. Because it's just, it's starting. Isn't it funny? We've said this before when we do foods from the uk that when it's been a while since we've had something from the uk but we've had it before it starts to feel nostalgic like oh, yeah. we start like, to have feelings oh, about yeah. food from the uk like oh yeah that's what it i remember those you know because we haven't had them in a while so anyway yep. thank you to our wonderful uk subscribers that always come to the comments and let us know all the things about everything that we tried today let us know what some of your favorites were from this box or maybe some things that are new we always find that so um i don't know cool when you're like oh i didn't know there was yeah. that flavor of this and then right. you go try it and let us know what you thought so anyway uh come find us on social media if you haven't already instagram is a great place to find us um we also have a vlog channel a second channel it's new it's little it's growing we would love to have your support over there if you want to come see us go on vacation we've got some side hustle stuff going on we're going to do some traveling this summer some local traveling and show you little sites you get to see more with our kitty cat over there we also have a game channel where we sit and play games with one another when we have yep. time to do that sort of thing so links to all the channels will be down in the comments of this video now if you love this with them which we do kate and alex what a great team go check them out we'll link their channel in this video as well down in the comments and uh if you're interested in getting your own box yeah we've been getting it for i don't know a year maybe, maybe? probably more than that it might be and, two years now and we really enjoy it i think it always comes with a wide variety of snacks yeah and a lot of snacks sure yeah. and we have talked about in our especially in our vlog channel how we went to a little import you know british food shop and we showed how much like pot noodles were and some different things all of this stuff is extremely expensive for us to get pot noodles if you didn't see that were five dollars yeah and then you all were shocked at how um at how much they were so that's why we feel like this is such a great deal this box is because yeah. we know what we would have to pay for each of these things individually so um, if you're interested in getting a box for yourself, we'll put a link down in the comments as well. Now, if you love foods from the UK, trying new things, chocolates, crisps, or us, or, or the, the video, video, give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel when you do that. That's all we have for today. That's it, guys. See you next time. Bye.